Welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thanks for watching. I hope you like and subscribe. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this little dress for baby girls between three and six months old. The stitch pattern is so delicate and beautiful, so I hope you like it as well. Now, you can also turn this into a beautiful baptismal gown. All you have to do is just make more rows and make it longer. That would be up to you. The little dress that we're going to make in the tutorial, like I said, is for baby girls between three and six months old, but you can easily make it small or bigger from the newborn baby and up to 12 months down here in the information box i'll go ahead and leave some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger so be sure to check that out now if you prefer a written pattern check out my etsy shop i'll leave the link to my etsy shop in the information box as well and in the comments thank you for your support okay let's get started but don't forget all of my tutorials are always in english and in spanish don't forget to subscribe activate the notifications bell to all notifications so that you don't miss any of my tutorials and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up thanks for watching okay to crochet this little dress i'll be using this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and today i'm using this number three yarn now this is the yarn that i'm using it's by this brand yarn b and this is in the color white now this here says that this is a medium number four yarn i don't believe it's a number four yarn it's very thin more like dk weight or number three yarn so i'd recommend that you use a number three yarn dk weight or a ply so here to begin I have a total of 53 chains. This chain here is measuring about 11 inches, which is about 28 centimeters. If you're off by one or two centimeters, it's okay, just continue. Also, the stitch multiple to this base chain is multiples of four plus one. So here, to begin, like I said, I have 53 chains. Into the second chain from the hook, one, two, I'm going to make a single crochet single crochet into the next chain single crochet into the next and so on this is all i'm going to do for the first row at the end of this first row i'm going to be left with 52 single crochets continue finish this first row and i'll meet you at the end I'm here at the end of this first row. I have a total of 52 single crochets. Now for the second row, we're going to chain two and turn. Now these two chains from here on do not count. They're just here so that when we finish the yoke, this part here is nice and straight. Now to begin the second row, I'm going to make three double crochets and then into the fourth single crochet, I'm going to make two double crochets. So let me show you. Beginning on top of the first single crochet, make a double crochet. That's one, two, three. Into the next, make two double crochets. One and two. This is all you're going to do for the rest of this second row. You're going to make three double crochets. One, two, three, and into the next two double crochets. Now, continue like this to the end of this second row. I will meet you there to show you what we need to do next. I finished the second row here at the end. I finished by making these last four double crochets. At the end of this second row, I have 64 double crochets. Now for the third row, chain two and turn. Now in this row, I'm going to make four double crochets. Then into the next, I'm going to make two. Let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet. That's one, two, three, four. Now into the next, make two double crochets. And this is how you're going to continue for the rest of this third row. You're going to make four double crochets and then to the next two. Four, two, four, two, until you finish this third row. Continue, I'll meet you at the end. I finished the third row. At the end of this third row, I have 76 double crochets. Now for the fourth row, chain two and turn. Now in this row, I'm going to make five double crochets, then two. Let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet. That's one, two, three, four, five double crochets, and into the next two. 
And this is how you're going to continue for the rest of this fourth row. You're going to make five double crochets, then two, five, two, five, two, until you finish this fourth row. At the end of this fourth row, you're going to have 88 double crochets. I'll meet you at the end of this row. I finished the fourth row. At the end of this fourth row, I have 88 double crochets. Now for the fifth row, we're going to chain two and turn. Now in this fifth row, we're going to repeat the same thing we did in the second row. I'm going to make three double crochets, then two, three, two, three, two, until I finish the row. So let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet, that's one, two, three, now into the next, make two double crochets. One more time, make three double crochets. One, two, three, and into the next two double crochets. This is how you're going to continue for the rest of this fifth row. So continue making three double crochets, then two, three, two, to the end of this fifth row. I'll meet you there to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this fifth row. Up to here, I have 100 double crochets. I still have eight double crochets left. Now, here at the end, we're going to finish this row by making one double crochet on each one of these double crochets so that at the end of this fifth row, I have a total of 108 double crochets. Now, I want to make sure that this last row here is in multiples of three. So 108 divides into three. There. So at the end of this fifth row, I have 108 double crochets. Now for the sixth row, chain three and turn. Now in this row, what I'm going to do are V stitches. So our first V stitch is going to go into the third double crochet, counting from the beginning, one, two, three, into this third double crochet, make a V-stitch. So make a double crochet, chain two, double crochet. Skip one, two, and into the third, make a V-stitch. Skip one, two, and into the third, again, a V-stitch. This is how we're going to continue for this sixth row. We're just going to make these V stitches. Continue, finish this sixth row. I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this sixth row. I have my last V stitch. Up to here, I have 35 V stitches. Now to finish into the last double crochet here, make a double crochet. And this is how I finish the sixth row with 35 V stitches. Now for the seventh row, chain three and turn. Now in this seventh row, what I'm going to do inside each one of the V-stitches is a fan. Each one of the fans is going to consist of two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Same thing into the next and into each one of the V-stitches. So continue like this for this seventh row. I will meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this seventh row. This is where we did these fans. I have 35 fans. Now to finish the row, we're going to go into the second chain here at the end and make a double crochet. And this is how I finish the seventh row. Now for the eighth row, chain one and turn. Now on top of this first double crochet, make a single crochet. Now chain two and inside the first fan into the chain one space, make a single crochet three chains, single crochet. Now chain two, in the middle of these two fans right here, make a single crochet, two chains, and again inside the second fan into the chain one space, make a single crochet, three chains, single crochet. Again, chain two, and in the middle of the two fans, a single crochet. This is how you're going to continue for the rest of this eighth row. And this is how it looks. Continue. I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. 
Okay, I finished making the eighth row. Here at the end, I did two chains, and into the second chain here at the end, I did a single crochet. Then I cut my yarn and passed my yarn through that last loop, and the yoke is almost done. And this is how it looks so far. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, I'm thinking of doing a little summer dress uh, where I'm going to make the yoke like this and then I'm going to knit the rest, so stay tuned. Now, here I place a stitch marker. This here is marking the right side of the dress. This here is going to be the wrong side. So make sure you put a stitch marker, that way you won't get confused which side is which. So this here is going to be the right side and this is the inside. This is where we finish, so we're going to go here the ninth row is going to be worked from the wrong side out. We're going to go into the row of V stitches, which is row six. In row six, we did this row of V stitches. So in the middle between the V stitch and the last double crochet, insert your hook right there, grab a loop, bring it through the front, chain three. One, two, three. Now these three chains counts as the first double crochet. Now into this same space here, make a double crochet. Now we have the V stitch right here and in the middle, we're going to push these two double crochets here to the side. In the middle like this, insert your hook and make two double crochets. Now in the middle of the V-stitches, so right here, here's a V-stitch and here's a V-stitch. So in this space, right here, insert your hook there and make two double crochets. Now again, we have the V-stitch, push the two double crochets here, make room so that you can insert your hook right in the middle into the chain two space of the V-stitch and make two double crochets. And this is how we're going to continue for this ninth row. Again, in the middle of the V-stitches, make two double crochets. And inside the V-stitch, two double crochets. That's all I'm going to do to the end of this ninth row. Continue, I will meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. I'm almost done with the ninth row. Now up to here, I did my last two double crochets inside and I have a total of 136 double crochets. Now I still have three spaces left, one, two, three. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an increase. So into this next space here, I'm going to make three double crochets. One, two, three. Now in the middle here where we have the fan, Insert your hook and make two double crochets here. One and two. Now into the last space, this one here, I'm going to make three double crochets. So I'm going to make two double crochets first. And then right on top of the double crochet right here, actually these are three chains. So insert your hook right there and make a double crochet. Now here at the end of this ninth row, you should have a total of uh, 144 double crochets. I want to make sure that this last row that I did here is in multiples of six. So 144 is divisible by six. So now we have 144 double crochets at the end of the ninth row. Now for the 10th row of the yoke, we're going to chain one and turn. Now, beginning on top of the first double crochet, this one here, I'm going to start my pattern here and I'm going to make a puff stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook on the first double crochet, grab a loop, yarn over, grab a loop, yarn over, grab a loop, yarn over, grab a loop. Now we grab a loop four times and this leaves us with nine loops on the hook, two, four, six, eight, nine. Now grab a loop and close chain one. Make sure that your loops here are nice and loose so that when you close, your hook doesn't get caught in any of the loops. Now we're going to skip one, two, and into the third double crochet, I'm going to make a fan. Each one of the fans is going to consist of two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. 
Now skip one, two, and into the third double crochet, make a puff stitch. So yarn over, grab a loop, yarn over, grab a loop, yarn over, grab a loop. I have nine loops on the hook, close, chain one, and repeat. Skip two double crochets, and into the third, make a fan. Skip two double crochets and into the third, work a puff stitch. Nine loops, close, chain one. And this is how you're going to continue for the rest of this 10th row. You're just going to alternate between a puff stitch and a fan, and there is two double crochets between the stitches. Now continue like this for the 10th row. I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of the 10th row of the yoke. Now my last stitch here is a fan. I have a total of 48 stitches all around for this 10th row. I'm counting the puff stitch and the fans as one stitch. So I have 48. Now here at the end, I have two double crochets. I'm going to skip these two double crochets and I'm going to go on top of the first stitch of the 10th row, which is the puff stitch that we did. So on top of the puff stitch where we did the chain, join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finished the 10th row. Now we're going to continue and work the rest of the dress in the round. And in the next row, we're going to divide the sleeves. So we're going to start counting rows again. So here to divide the sleeves, this is how we're going to divide them. I said we have a total of 48 stitches, which includes the fans and the uh, puff stitches. So here for the back side, this is going to be the back side from here on, I have six stitches on this side one two three four five six and then into this space i put a stitch marker for this side i have also six one two three four five six so in total for the back side i have 12. now each one of the sleeves has 12. one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and then i put a stitch marker now this here is going to be the front so i have 12 one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and then the other sleeve twelve one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve perfect so now in the next row we're going to divide and this is going to be the first row so to do this row i'm going to chain one and into this same stitch which is the top of the puff stitch insert your hook here and make a double crochet Actually, we're going to make two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. Now, inside the chain two space of the fan, I'm going to work a puff stitch. So yarn over, grab a loop, 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 nine loops, close, chain one. And this is how I'm going to continue now until I come to the last stitch here for this panel. So on top of the puff, make a fan. Now inside the chain two space of the fan, make a puff stitch. Nine loops, close, chain one, and now make a fan on top of the puff and here's the last stitch so finish with a puff stitch inside the fan nine loops close chain one so for this panel, I have one, two, three, four, five, six stitches. I have my stitch marker now to divide the first sleeve chain five one two three four five skip 12 stitches one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and on top of the puff stitch that's after the stitch marker make a fan now continue with the pattern so into this fan you're going to make a puff fan puff fan puff fan puff fan puff fan puff i'll meet you right here to show you how we're going to divide the second sleeve 
I'm right under the second sleeve. This is the second row. Now, from here where we divided the first sleeve, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve pattern stitches to divide the second sleeve, chain five. Skip 12 stitches, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and into the puff stitch after the stitch marker, make a fan, make a fan. Now continue with the pattern, so you're going to make a puff, fan, puff, fan, puff. I'll meet you at the end of this second row. I'm here at the end of this first row. This is where we divided the sleeves. I have a total of 24 stitches all around. I have six pattern stitches on this side, six on this side, and 12 for the front. So that's a total of 24 pattern stitches. Now to finish this row, we're going to go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for the second row, we're going to make two slip stitches. So make a slip stitch on top of the next double crochet and a slip stitch into the chain two space. Now for the second row, I need to start the row with with a puff stitch so chain one and into this chain two space of this fan make your puff stitch two four six seven eight nine loops close chain one and then continue with the pattern so make a fan puff fan puff fan I'll meet you right here to show you what we need to do next okay I'm right under the sleeve I have one, two, three, four, five, six pattern stitches. I have five chains here. Now into the second chain, we're going to continue with the pattern. So my next stitch needs to be a puff. So I'm going to work a puff stitch here into the second chain. Now skip one chain and into the fourth chain, make a fan. Now into the first fan here for the front side, make a puff stitch. And from here on, you're just going to continue with the pattern until you come to the second sleeve. So you're going to make a fan, puff, fan, puff, fan, puff, fan, puff, fan, puff, fan. I'll meet you right here to show you what we need to do next. I'm right under the second sleeve. Now here, counting from where we started the front, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve pattern stitches. Now I have my five chains into the second chain, make a puff stitch. And into the fourth chain, make a fan. Now continue with the pattern. So you're going to make a puff, fan, puff, fan, puff, fan. I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this second row. My last pattern stitch here is a fan. Now in this row, I have a total of 28 pattern stitches. Remember that under each sleeve, we added two extra stitches. So that's a total of 28 stitches all around. Now to finish, just go on top of the puff stitch and join with a slip stitch. Now for the third row, chain one in this row, I need to start with a fan. So right here into this same stitch, make two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets, and then into the fan, make a puff stitch. From here on, we're just going to continue with the pattern. So on top of the fans, you make a puff, and on top of the puff stitches, you make your fan. Continue like this to the end of this third row. I'm here at the end of this third row. Now at the end of this row, my last stitch here is a puff stitch, and I have a total of 28 stitches at the end of this row. Now to finish, we're going to go here to the side where we have the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish the third row. Now for the fourth row and going forward, I'm going to change hook size. I'm going to stop using this 3.5 millimeter hook and I'm going to now use this 4.5 millimeter hook. If you're making this little dress using any other hook size, just go up a full 
hook size so that you can do the rest of the skirt here. This is so that we can add some volume to the dress so that's why I'm going up uh, to a 4.5 millimeter hook. So here to continue make a slip stitch on top of the next double crochet a slip stitch into the chain one space. Uh, into the chain two space now chain one now to start the fourth row i need to work a puff stitch so make a puff stitch into this chain two space and a fan on top of the puff stitches now this part here is the same you just continue with the pattern the only difference is that now we're using a bigger hook size this is going to add volume to the skirt since this stitch pattern here is kind of hard to make increases so this is how i do it whenever i work anything with this pattern and it all works out at the end so continue like this all around i'll meet you here at the end of this fourth row to show you what we need to do next I'm here at the end of this fourth row. Now at the end of this fourth row, I have 28 stitches. My last pattern stitch here is a fan to finish. Go on top of the puff stitch and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish the fourth row. Now for the fifth row, we're going to chain one. So on top of this puff stitch, I need to make a fan. And into the next make a puff stitch from here on the pattern is the same on top of the fans you do a puff stitch and on top of the puff stitches you make a fan and that's how you're going to continue for the rest now remember that the only difference between these two rows is the way that you start so if you have a puff stitch you start with a fan if you have a fan you start with a puff stitch i'm not sure how many rows i'm going to do here for the rest of the little dress but continue watching i will let you know exactly how many rows i'm going to do and remember that at the end of every row you're always going to have 28 pattern stitches I'll meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I'm almost done with the skirt of the little dress. Look how beautiful this stitch pattern is. It's so delicate. If you want to make this part here longer, you can. I have only done 16 rows. So from here where we divided the sleeves up to here, I have done 16 rows. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make two more rows for the bottom of the dress. If you want to continue and make it longer, just make sure that the last row that you do, you end with a fan. So to finish the 16th row, just go on top of the puff stitch and join with a slip stitch. Now for row 17, chain one. Now in this row, this is what we're going to do on each one of the fans. In the middle of these two double crochets, make a double crochet chain one inside the chain two space make a double crochet chain one double crochet again chain one double crochet chain one and between the last two double crochets of this fan make a double crochet and this is how it looks so here we're going to have five double crochets with four chain one spaces on each one of the fans now on top of the puff stitches we're going to make a slip stitch again we have the next fan between the two double crochets here make a double crochet chain one inside the chain two space make a double crochet chain one double crochet chain one again and double crochet chain one and finish with a double crochet between the last two double crochets and that's how it looks now on top of the puff stitch make a slip stitch and let me show you again between these two double crochets make a double crochet chain one inside the chain two space make a double crochet chain one double crochet chain one double crochet chain one and between the last two double crochets make a double crochet that's all we're going to do so continue like this to the end of this 17th row i'll meet you there to show you what we need to do next i'm here at the end of the 17th row now to finish this row just go on top of the last puff stitch and join with a slip stitch and this is the 17th row now for the 18th row just turn don't chain or anything just turn 
Now, on top of this last double crochet that I did here, make a slip stitch and a slip stitch into this chain one space. Now here, chain one and make a single crochet, then chain three, single crochet into this same chain space. Now we're going to do the same thing on each one of the chain spaces. So jump into the next chain one space and make a single crochet, chain three, single crochet. Same thing into the next chain space, single crochet, chain three, single crochet. And then into the last chain one space, same thing. And here's how it looks. So each one of these fans is going to have four chain three spaces. Now to continue, just jump to the next chain one space of the next fan and make a single crochet, chain three, single crochet, single crochet into the next chain one space, chain three, single crochet, single crochet, chain three, single crochet. And into the last chain one space of this fan, make a single crochet, chain three, single crochet. And that's how you're going to continue all around for this last row, and that's what it looks like. Very pretty. So continue. I'll meet you at the end of this last row. Okay, I finished making this last row here at the end. All I did was just join to the first single crochet that we did at the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop. And this part here is done and that's how it looks. It's absolutely beautiful, very simple, and very easy to make. The skirt of the little dress, it's all done. Here's the back side and here's the front there. Now we're going to make the sleeves. I already went ahead and did this side. You're going to do it exactly in the same way. So let's go here. This is the front. So we're going to go here to the right side, right under the sleeve right here. This is where we did these five chains. So right in the middle where we have the chain left here. Remember we added these two stitches. We did a fan and a puff stitch. So right in the middle of these two stitches, insert your hook. And to do the sleeves, I'm going to use this 3.5 millimeter hook. We're going to go back to the original hook size that we started. So here to begin with the same yarn as well, grab a loop here, bring it through the front. Let's see. Chain one and into the same space here, make a single crochet. Now this part is exactly the same for the other sleeve. So you're just going to do exactly the same thing. Now here we have the stitch where we divided the sleeves right here. We did this last puff stitch and then we divided the sleeve. So right into this space right here, insert your hook and we're going to make a double crochet, but we're not going to close the double crochet. So insert your hook there, grab a loop, leave two loops on the hook. Now go into the first puff stitch for the sleeve, which is the stitch after the stitch marker. And here we have to make a fan. So make your first double crochet and close through these three loops. So here we did a double crochet decrease. Now we're doing this so that there is no gap between the single crochet and the fan. So that's why I did this stitch here. Now I'm going to complete my fan here. So make a double crochet, chain one, two double crochets. From here on, we're just going to continue with the pattern. So into the fan here, make your puff stitch. And on top of the puff stitch, make your fan. Now continue like this around the sleeve for this first row. Let me finish this. You're going to make a puff stitch, fan, puff, fan, puff, fan, puff, fan, puff. 
I'll meet you right here to show you how we're going to finish this first row. Okay, I'm here at this other side of the sleeve. This is the first row. Now up to here I have, let's see, I have a fan. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve stitches. My last stitch is a puff stitch. So now here, what I'm going to do is the same thing we did here at the beginning where we did this double crochet decrease. I'm going to do it here because there's a big gap between the puff stitch and the single crochet. So I'm going to go right here, which is halfway. So into this stitch where we have the puff stitch and we have the, the fan on top, just insert your hook right there. But first yarn over, insert your hook, grab a loop, take two loops off, leave two loops on the hook. And now we're going to go here on top of the single crochet and join with a slip stitch. So close these two loops. And here's our double crochet decrease at the end. So now for this row, we have 12 pattern stitches with a single crochet in the center for the first row. Now for the second row, we're going to chain one and into this same single crochet, just make a single crochet. Now we're going to continue around with the pattern. So here I have to do a puff stitch. So insert your hook into the chain space of this first fan and make a puff stitch. And then continue with the fan on top of the puff stitch. So continue around with the pattern. Here you're going to make a puff, fan, puff, fan, puff, fan, puff, fan, puff, fan. So continue. I'll meet you at the end of this second row to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this second row. I have 12 pattern stitches all around. Now my last stitch here is a fan. To finish, just go here on top of the single crochet and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish the second row. Now I'm not going to continue with the pattern here, but if you want to make your sleeve a little bit longer, you can just continue and work more rows. I'm going to make a short sleeve. So what I'm going to do next here in the third row is I'm going to chain one and into this same stitch here, make a single crochet crochet. Now on top of the puff stitches work one double crochet and for each fan here make four double crochets. Don't do anything into the chain space. So just work these four double crochets, skip the chain space and make two double crochets. Again we have a puff stitch, make a double crochet on top and then work these four double crochets. So one double crochet for each double crochet. Skip the chain space here of the fans. Continue like this all around for this third row. I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this third row. This is where we did double crochets all around. Up to here I have 30 double crochets plus a single crochet here at the beginning. Now to finish, we're going to go here on top of the single crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for the fourth row, what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain one and into this first stitch, which is the first single crochet, make a single crochet. Now I'm going to make three single crochets and then I'm going to make a decrease. So work three single crochets and into the next two work a single crochet decrease. So insert your hook, grab a loop, insert your hook into the next, grab a loop, three loops, close. Again, make three single crochets, one, two, three, and into the next two make a single crochet decrease. And this is all we're going to do all around. Continue, I'll meet you at the end of this fourth row to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this fourth row. This is where I did single crochets with decreases. I have a total of 25 single crochets. Now, if you have one or two stitches less or more, it's okay. Just finish the row and continue with the next two rows. So here to finish, just go on top of the first single crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for rows, let's see, five and six, we're just going to chain one and into the first single crochet, make a single crochet single crochet into the next, single crochet into the next, and so on. You're just going to continue like this all around for the fifth row. When you finish this row, you're just going to join here to the beginning with a slip stitch, chain one, and then repeat the same thing for the sixth row. So continue, finish these next two rows, and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. 
Okay, I finished making these three rows of single crochet. Here at the end of the third row, I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop, and the sleeve is all done. Now, you're going to do exactly the same thing we did here on this side. You're going to do it here on this side. It's done exactly in the same way. I already did mine, that's how it looks. Now, we're going to go here to the back side. We're going to fix this part here and we're going to add a buttonhole here on the left side. Um, so this is the back. We're going to go here to the right and we're going to go right into the first chain. I have this end here, so into the same stitch here, insert your hook. I'm using the original hook size, the 3.5 millimeter hook. I'm going to grab a loop here, chain one, and into the same stitch here, make a single crochet. Now we're going to work our way down, and here, once we get to this part where I did the yoke, make sure that we also make single crochets to hold this part. So let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten single crochets so far. I think that looks pretty good. Now, there's no right or wrong way of doing this. Just make sure that it looks nice. Now, we have this end here. We're going to make sure to go through the double crochet here at the end and through this double crochet. Now into the end here and through the puff stitch, make another one. To the side of the puff stitch, make one. And let's see, right in the middle where we joined into that stitch, make a single crochet. Let's see how many I have. I have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 14 single crochets. So along this side, I did 13, and then the one in the middle is um, that one stitch, so that's 14. Now we're going to continue along this side and do the same thing. Make sure that you do the same number of stitches. For me, I have 13. You can have more or less. The important thing is that this part here looks nice. So into this double crochet, make one. Then I'm going to go into this single crochet at the end here of the ruffle here for the yoke and insert my hook through there and through the stitch behind it right there and then along the edge let's see right there and then continue working single crochets until you come here to the end. I will meet you right here to show you how we're going to make that buttonhole. Okay, I'm almost done with the back side. Up to here, I have 12 single crochets. I still have one more stitch left. So here to make our buttonhole, I'm going to chain two and into the last stitch here, which is the chain, I'm going to make a single crochet. Now, I chained two here because I have these buttons. These are eight millimeter buttons. These are perfect to go through the two chains that I did. Now, if you want to use smaller, then make sure that the two chains here is big enough for the buttons that you're going to use. These are the buttons that I'm using. These are from Hobby Lobby and they're eight millimeter. So now what we're going to do here along the neckline is we're going to do the following. Here, I did my last single crochet. So now chain three, skip one chain stitch and into the next, make a slip stitch. Chain three, skip one chain stitch and into the next make a slip stitch chain three skip one chain stitch and into the next make a slip stitch this is how we're going to continue all around i will meet you here at this end to show you what we need to do next Okay, I finished making this row here around the neckline. Here at the end, I just joined to the single crochet that we did here when we did this part with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, pass my yarn through that last loop. I also went ahead and attached my button here, and here's the buttonhole that we did. And this part here is all done. 
and that's how it looks. Now here what I did was, if you notice, I have a ribbon here. This ribbon is, let's see, this is one fourth of an inch ribbon in this pink color. And all I did was just start here in the back side and I went through the row of V stitches. I went in, out, in, out, in, out, and I just weaved this ribbon all around that row. Here at the end, all I did once I was done was um, just had a little knot here at the end and I'm just going to cut and burn the end here so that it doesn't come undone. So you can do the same thing. Now in the front here, I went ahead and attached these little rosebuds and I also did this little bow here. This bow, um, you can just go on YouTube and search how to make bows and which is what I did. I, you just do it with your fingers. Uh, so you can search how to make bows with your fingers, which is what I did. And I attached the little rosebuds right in the center. And this part here is done. Now the little dress is all done, but I think that the yoke here where we did this ruffle needs a bit of color so that it pops. So this is what we're going to do. This should have been done when I was doing the, the collar here, but uh, regardless, this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to show you how it's done. So to begin here, we're going to go here to the back side. This is optional. If you want to leave it like this, it's fine. You can also, if you haven't started your little dress, this last row that we did in white where we did the chains, you can also uh, do it in another color and that way you don't have to do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this yarn. This is DK wit yarn and this is also cotton yarn. And I'm going to use this three millimeter hook to do this. So to do this, we're going to go here. This is the back side so we're going to go here to the left and right here where we have the last single crochet that we did in the last row of the yoke um, this is the row of chains we're going to now attach the yarn here to this single crochet I'm going to grab a loop this row is going to be worked from the wrong side out so this here is the wrong side of this ruffle this is the top of it so this is right under it so that's where i'm going to go all around and do this so to begin here i'm going to chain three make sure that you leave a nice little tail here so that when we're done we can hide this on the inside and that way you won't be able to even see that this was done after the dress was done so let's see insert your hook grab a loop bring it through chain three one two three now here we have our first chain two space into this chain two space make a slip stitch chain three now we have the chain three here make a slip stitch chain three and then back into the same space and make a slip stitch now chain three into the chain two space make a slip stitch chain three into the next chain two space make a slip stitch chain three and now we're back to the chain three space make a slip stitch chain three slip stitch again into that space chain three slip stitch into the chain two space chain three slip stitch into the next chain two space chain three and again we're back to the chain three space here make a slip stitch chain three slip stitch into the same stitch or space chain three and then slip stitch into the next chain two space. This is how we're going to continue all around and this is how it looks. See how it pops now? That's what I wanted. So I'm going to continue like this all around. So I will meet you here at this end to show you how it looks and give you the finished measurements of the little dress. Okay, I finished making this last row here at the end. I just did my last slip stitch into the last stitch here at the end. And then I just cut my yarn and passed my yarn through that last loop. And this part here is done. Now, all you have to do is just hide this end. I would do it on the inside. So the little dress, it's all done. This is how it looks here on the back side. And here's the front. 
this is how it looks i'm so glad i went ahead and did this last row because now as you can see the yolk pops you can clearly see that there's a row here for the yolk and so there it is it's absolutely beautiful i hope you like it as well now let me give you the finished measurements from the neckline up to the end of the sleeve it's measuring about 14 centimeters which is about 5.5 inches the length from the top of the shoulder down to the end of the last row here at the bottom it's measuring about 37 centimeters which is about 14.5 inches now this part here right across it's measuring about 11.5 centimeters which is about 4.5 inches now the chest measurement just the top it's measuring about 23 centimeters which is about nine inches so based on these measurements this little dress here is for baby girls between three and six months old now you can also make it smaller or bigger i'd say from a newborn baby and up to nine to twelve months down here in the information box i'll go ahead and leave some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger so be sure to check that out so the little dress, it's all done. It's absolutely beautiful. Remember that if you want to make this into a nice little christening or baptism gown, you can just make more rows and make it longer. And you can make it smaller or bigger, as I mentioned. Comment below and let me know if you want me to make the matching little bonnet, the baby blanket. I'm working on that right now, so I'll go ahead and show you that um, in another tutorial. Okay, so this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.